So, Alaji, um, we've gone to the peak. We are beginning to come down. Yeah. Now, you were talking about the uh, relation. And I think um, the former president, you talked about the chief imam. You also had a very good relationship with the chief imam. And um, he demonstrated that in so many ways by attending, uh, you know, the Eid and all the other occasions, you know. Now, in all sincerity, how do you see the current relationship between the NDC and the Zongo community? Uh, let me let me add, even within the context of this, the Nasara, mm -hmm. you know, of the MPP, do you see them as a threat? You know, what are your you know, uh, of course. If you look at the elections from ninety two to ninety six, my polling station in nineteen ninety six, Rollins, where I vote at Gaskia Cinema, Rollins had seven hundred and fifty votes. Mm. Kufu and Edward Mahama had 13, mm. one 13 vote. Mm. But today, it has changed. Because actually, when the Nasara came up, they also started, you know, and it has shown up MPP vote in the Zongo community. Not two ways up. Mm. And you were in the office mm. as a Deputy General Secretary mm -hmm. when we started the Zongo caucus. Mm. If you remember, mm. after Kofobia Congress. Mm. And it took the party a, almost, I don't know, about five, six years before yeah. they realized that, look, we also have to do something to recognize it. Even though, though it, there was no recognition, mm. we were working, yeah. going into the communities. And Elvis, you know the role we play in 2008 election going into the community, going into from house to house, community to community. I remember those, I'll be calling you, <laughs> you know. Moving at night and at all night, that. At night, you understand? Anyway, there'll see, be a right time yeah, to tell those stories. You see, and we're able to do it. But I can tell you, today, in the Zongo community, you have young men with masters who don't want to come close because of lack of proper recognition. One of my pain is that when we went to Kumasi in 20, 20, uh, 2014 Congress, I was able to convince the former speaker, Joe Ajaho, Ken Jirasa, mm -hmm. at the Congress, for this recognition of Zongo Caucus. But unfortunately, I was not there when we were going to. Because I would have wished that we don't elect, we appoint. Mm. The Zongo Caucus coordinators. We appoint them. We look at within the community. Because that is our community. We know how our community. Somebody may be very good, but when you say election, he won't go. Mm. Probably doesn't have the resources. You see? Or doesn't have the ability see, to come But, but it's very influential. He has the legs. can make a huge impact. You see? I get it. You see? So now, I think the party have to rule look at all these things. Because when you say Zongo, it's a special constituency where you should know people who understand the language, mm. not just anybody who speak Hausa. Mm. Understand the people, the language, the, the, language, culture, the, the culture, dynamics, you see, and the nuances. The nuances, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Very interesting. So, we're going into the 2024 elections. Mm. It is an election that we must win. The NDC must win. Yeah. Uh, president Mahama must win and become president again. We must win the parliamentary seats and we cannot win without massively winning in the zongo communities yeah. if you look at the trend anytime we do very well we win massively in the zongos we win the elections yeah. anytime our votes go down in the zongo communities mm -hmm. we lose yeah. so alaji what should the ndc do one differently in the zongo communities and generally across the country yeah when we look at the party today, I think the current national executives should consult more with people who knew the party better. And they will tell them that NDC has a culture of respect to the elderly. And we know how to knock 
at the doors. It's not only speaking on going on the TV or radio. No, 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 no. That one on one contact, very, very important. I remember when we started, Elvis, we walk. It was this Mr. Late Mr. Segoji who once called me in his office at Ring Road here and gave me a bicycle. Bicycle. Okay. I like this. Okay. I know, I know, I know. I understand. I've been in the office with you. We work with nothing. And, uh, you know, uh, that's, that's the essence of what we're doing. To let people know that we started from somewhere. And uh, people have sacrificed and toiled for this party. And you cannot build without a foundation. So it's important that we recognize those who build the foundation. Give them the due honor. And then we will also be honored and the blessings of God will be upon us because 2024 is a must win. And uh, everybody has to get on board. And I like you, I'm telling you, I am going to pull you along. Every, all of you that I know, that I work with, I, I don't need position. I don't need permission from anybody. I'm going to pull everybody <coughs> along with my myself, go back there to the grounds and ensure that we deliver a resounding victory. So, yeah, like Elvis, you. Yes. you know, like you're saying, when we were working with you at the party, do I have any position? No. Nope. No. Mm. 18 years. No allowance. I don't take any fee. When we work. Now, this old man I'm telling you at Zongoli, mm -hmm. this man was selling ice cream. He sold his deep freezer and bought table and chair for Eagle Club. That gave birth to NDC. Mm. These are the sacrifices people made. People were burned alive. You know, but thank God today, me and you are sitting here talking, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking at the future generation mm -hmm. of our gate party. Mm -hmm. And I was going to come to that. So, you know, I think you've touched it, but you can reiterate your advice to the upper coming generation, yeah. your advice to the current generation of the Zongo youth, yeah. and a word to your brother, uh, all of us, our brother and friend, yeah. uh, President Mahama, who we all want to come back so, so, so desperately so he can rescue this country. Okay. Elvis, when you look at, when you go to the Zongo community and you talk to the people, look, there are people who don't even know constituency chairman. I remember in 1992, a woman in my house, much kinky, this fancy thing came in and carry it on her head to a crash sports studio. That's her contribution to NBC. Much kinky and put some ice block around it and carry it to a crash sports. The final rally in Greater Accra. That, and I said, this is my this contribution. This is what I have. Do. You understand? Mm. And these people, they are still there. Mm. Some of them are there. You need to just go and say, Kola Fia, Mama. Baba Kola Fia. Greetings mm. that he knows you know he's there. Mm. You know, mm. these are some of the things that will win you respect and vote without even spending one city. The last time I met his uh, excellency, former president, Wallace, uh, 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 John, uh, John, John, no, no. he told me something theology. All of you are needed. When we went to Asin North, mm -hmm. if you have let it with the executive alone, mm -hmm. we would have won election, but not as we get it. So that, this is what he told me the day we met. Mm -hmm. He said this to me mm -hmm. because he know I have worked with him when he was a parliamentary candidate in 1996. I have done that. And he knows what I could do. In that year, I was able to get somebody who printed posters for all the 43 parliamentary candidates in the northern region, then the three northern region. And some Zongos like uh, Pru, Atibu Bwamantin, Asawasi, Isayawasu, Ablikma Sentra, Ima, free. And the guy was even happy he's doing that for NDC. Without taking one city. And there are people like that. You know. So your final word too. My final word right, is that okay. I want to repeat again, the current National Executive Committee members, when you guys are there, you work with everybody, irrespective of whether the person had a position or not.
you know, they should adopt that system. They should try to carry everybody along. Don't say, oh, I'm elected. You know, so sometimes when we were there, you go to a place in a constituency, even though you're a national officer, then you see somebody, eh, an elder with the community, you step back for him. Yeah, I remember during campaigns, yes. when I was a campaign coordinator in 2012, mm. I hardly sat down. Yes. Because I oh. came from Accra with the president. Yeah. I don't need to sit on the days. No. So constituency executives, you know, elders, yes. they will sit to the you know, former president. Sometimes, do, yeah, those little, 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 little things, things, I yeah. tell you, yeah. will yeah. win so, you a vote that you don't imagine. You know, don't go throwing your weight, I'm this, I'm that. No, 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 no. When you go steady the ground, look at the people. You, you, look, let them. Oh, there's a saying in Hausa. That, in Hausa. Yeah, that do come a wada. Wada is the, what do you call them? Dwarfs. Okay. Eh? He has a gold ornament. Mm -hmm. You don't have. Mm -hmm. When you knew that he gave you something, you get up. Have you lost something? That's all. No. So. In literature, mm -hmm. there's a book by Oliver Goldsmith mm -hmm. called She Stoops to Conquer. Yeah. The philosophy is that we are the ones who are looking for their votes and their power. Mm -hmm. We need to humble ourselves. Yes. We need to come down to their level. After all, our party is a grassroots party. Yeah. So the hide-mindedness must minimize. And, yes. But to be fair also, I think what I saw in Asin North mm -hmm. also gives me a lot of hope. Yeah. Because in Asin North, I saw that spirit that we had, mm -hmm. you know, in those days, everybody coming together, everybody putting in their best effort. And I think that we must sustain that spirit you, and replicate it across the I country. went to Asankarigua with Professor Nose in the early 2000, the by-election. Mm -hmm. There's a guest as one well entering the, the town. Mm -hmm. That's what Prof was. Mm -hmm. And the then MPP regional chairman came and paid double. Mm -hmm. We were there. When the work professor means out of the place. I forgot when I was there. Yeah. <laughs> was then there. I remember when you were the deputy minister for local government. Mm -hmm. You were going to inaugurate the assemblies. And you asked me to go to that town. If you remember, you gave me a vehicle and a letter. When I went up to the DC and I look at that place. And he said, Yes. I like it. We'll have to pay him back. We don't do business with him. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> I remember I slept in the San Kerwa market for three nights. <laughs> The, the market, when we go round, 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 myself and the, uh, the, the late uh, general secretary, yes. um, yes, I, yes. Jesha Aye, I'll just uh, put two tables together, you know, lie on it in early morning, because we have only one room, mm. which was being occupied by the then woman organizer, mm. Francis S.C.M. Yeah. So when they finish, then we also use the room to embark and then, we, we, you know, at least. So that is my message to you, an up and coming generation. Thank you, thank and you. And I tell you, you Thank it you. will happen. Thank yeah, you. Thank it will happen. You. Yeah. yeah. I'm so, so, so glad. Right. Thank you I very much for giving me this opportunity. I've yeah. been revived. Yeah. And uh, to our viewers, um, Alaji is a pillar. And uh, off camera, he has assured me that he's ready and willing to hit the road. Good. And my, I've taken it upon myself. I've given myself, I'm mobilizing all the old folks yeah. who will hit the ground. But whether there's invitation or not, yeah. whether there's program or not, we are going to go to the ground, join the executives and ensure that we deliver victory for the NDC come 2024. Yeah. And President John okay. Ramadan. Okay.